Hey everyone, my name is Sean Gupta. I'm a second year student here at IIM Shillong and in this video we are going to talk about how to prepare for quant for CAT 2024. But before we start this video, I would like to tell you guys that I'll be going live on an academy tomorrow that is 29th of December 2023 and 30th of December 2023 that's the day after tomorrow for two special classes. The first one is where I'll be discussing on how to prepare for quants, DILR and VRC in depth i'll talk about how i prepared for it and how you can plan your entire preparation strategy for cat 2024 in the second special class that's on 30th day after tomorrow i'll be talking about how to prepare your entire profile and how to build your profile for cat 2024 so if you have low grades if you have no work experience if you have less internships or if you have less extracurricular activities then what is the best way to build your profile so that you are ready for the MBA interviews throughout your CAT 2024 journey. So if you're starting your preparation in the month of Jan 2024, then this is the best time to start preparing for CAT because you have a total of 11 months at your disposal. Now these 11 months can be divided into two major aspects, the preparation aspect and the mocks aspect. Now both of these aspects are equally important and none of them is more important than the other, 50% weightage to each of them. But you need to remember that preparation comes first, mocks come second. So what does preparation phase mean? The preparation phase means sitting and looking at each of those videos or attending every single lecture, making notes, doing the solved examples, understanding the concepts and practicing n number of questions until you're not completely familiar with the subject matter. Now, This is going to take a majority of your preparation across the 11 months. Remember preparation comes before mocks and forms the foundation for your entire CAT preparation. If your foundation is good, that is if your preparation, these concepts, these understanding and this practice that you do for the majority of your portion is good, then your mocks are gonna be great. And if your foundation is bad, then no amount of mocks is gonna fix bad preparation. The goal with the preparation phase is to be very good with all the three subjects, quants, DILR, and VRC. Now remember, all of them have to be at a certain level, say 95 percentile, 96 percentile, 97 percentile. But there needs to be at least one section that you have complete mastery over. That is at least a 99 percentile in at least one of these sections that's quant, DILR or VARC. Now if you have two then you are a 99 percentile. But if you have one at a 99 percentile and the other two sections dip slightly, say like a 90 percentile, then you still get a great overall percentile. So make it a point this early on in your preparation journey to master at least one of the three sections up to the 99 percentile and you can leave the remaining two at around 95, 96 percentile. So that is your aim when you're thinking about the preparation journey. So when should you start taking mocks? Now make this a key rule. You should not start taking mocks until you're not done with at least 80% of the entire syllabus for CAT 2024. So now if you're preparing from Jan 2024 onwards, then in the most idealistic scenario, you should be done with 80% of your portion by the month of June or July. But most plans are not meant to be ideal, so we are going to keep a buffer time. You can start taking your mocks as late as August or even September. But post-September, the three months, October, November and December are meant for mocks. But since we're starting so early on, we're going to follow the most idealistic approach. And the best time to start taking mocks if you're starting a preparation in the month of Jan is June or July. In this video, we are going to deep dive into how to prepare for quants for CAT 2024. Now, quants is divided into five major topics. Arithmetic, Algebra, Geometry, Number System and Modern Maths, which is PNC and Probability. Now, all of these five topics are extremely important. You cannot leave any one of them and you cannot be weak in any one of them because questions can come from any of these five topics. So remember, all five topics are extremely important. So knowing that you will start with mocks in the month of June or July in the most idealistic scenario, the best way to move forward is to give about 1.5 to 2 months for each and every of these major topics. That means 1.5 to 2 months each to arithmetic, Algebra, Geometry, Number System and Permutation Combination PNC Modern Maths. 
So by the month of June, that is six months, you should be done with three major topics. So assuming you go in order, you'll be done with arithmetic, two months, worst case scenario, algebra, two months, worst case scenario, and then geometry, two months, worst case scenario. And you're done with three out of five major topics by the month of June. That's when you start taking mocks. You take one mock per weekend and by the month of August, you should be done with about six to eight mocks and also an additional topic, which would be either number systems or model maths. So by the month of August, when people have not even started their mocks, you will be done with six to eight mocks and with four out of five major topics. Now, if you're preparing for quants, it's important to have one thick notebook per topic out of these five topics. So you'll have five total thick notebooks. In front of me here, I have one notebook for arithmetic, one notebook for algebra or geometry, and I have a few more on top in the shelves. These were the few that I could find easily. And so if you can look at this, this is geometry. This is all the concept notes that I have, all the practice problems that I've done, all in one particular thick notebook. Here you would write every single note, every single concept, every single practice problem. And if while you're practicing, uh, you come across a question which is really difficult that you need to remember then you note them down in this particular notebook you do not practice in this notebook you make notes in this notebook so when you're close to cat or when you're coming through mocks you can open this one particular notebook and revise everything here i'll have concepts solved examples and only those questions which are really difficult which are challenging and i would like to revise again and again so these are three major things that you need to write in every single notebook. And you'll have a total of five notebooks for the entirety of quants. And this is the best way to prepare for quants.